fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 26th of June 2025. Hope you are keeping well, enjoying life with whatever you're doing. I'm not really enjoying my day because I'm trying to catch up on paperwork. I hate admin so much. I have no idea how people do it. If you have, my hat goes off to you if you have a job in admin and, and you enjoy it. Well done you, because I just hate it. I, I really dislike it extremely. Uh, in the extreme, I should say. Um, it just drives me mad. It's soulless paperwork. Anyway, never mind. That's my problem, not yours. Uh, what's going on in the world? I would like to urge you to be careful uh, in life because uh, accidentally doing something could land you in hot water. Uh, water is what they need in Greece to put out fires that are currently still blazing <coughs> and have been going on for ages. Uh, a woman has been charged with not intentionally, accidentally causing a fire, so I'm not quite sure exactly how the charge works, but anyway, apparently according to the report, uh, um, a woman has been charged because she dropped a cigarette carelessly, you know, without considering what to do with it, and it started a huge blaze, and thousands of hectares have been destroyed on that particular Greek island. Um, and uh, as I said, the Greek authorities are going to charge her, um, and so more news will appear, no doubt, but uh, that's a very serious uh, fire that has broken out because of carelessness. And, um, uh, you know, so try to be careful um, when you have dangerous things like cigarettes. Put your cigarette out carefully, responsibly, if you have one. Uh, otherwise, you might cause the end of wildlife and, uh, and make pl and the planet heating uh, even even worse than it already is. Uh, let's get on with the game of Sudoku. I've got the uh, what is it, LA Times expert level puzzle for you today. The th first thing that I notice are the 3 and the 4 blocking up here, which will give me a 3 and a 4 in those squares there. <coughs> I don't know what that means, but... <laughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me. Well, I do know that it means 1, 5 and 8 go in those squares there. Now, we've got 1 and 5 there, but not much else. So let's see, if, can we do anything with the 1s? We know that 1s are going to be up there. And of course, uh, I'll get a pair of one. Ah, okay, so actually, we've got one blocking this square. We've got one here, so we can get a one there. And we've got one going across here and across here. That'll give me the one in that square. And we've got one up here, one across there, and one going across this direction and this direction. So, in fact, we can say that, that is a one. <coughs> so, we'll be left with five and eight in those squares. Uh, anything else that we can do with the one since it's highlighted at the moment? Not sure. Let's see about the fives. So we're going to get fives up there. And how about those eights? Yes, we've got eights blocking down here. Eights down here. That's going to be an eight. Seven blocks down there. That's a seven. We'll be left with two and nine in those squares there. Two blocking up there. Two up there, two across there, and two across there means that that's two. Nine blocking up here, nine blocking up there, nine across there. There's a nine. <clears throat> uh, and we can get this because I think I said five and eight in those squares. I'm pretty sure I did, yes. Uh, this was three and four, then five, eight. So this is six. Six across this way, six back that way, there's a six. It's a bit noisy outside because it's lunchtime, exactly, and the people in the factory, or not factory, warehouse, I should say, slash office, building opposite, uh, they like to eat their lunch out in the car park, <laughs> have a small car park. And they like to eat their lunch out there. I don't think that it's not big enough for a proper staff canteen, I guess. <clears throat> and we've got pairs there, I can't do that. Oh, oh. oh. that's not going to 
don't give me enough information, so... Okay, I have been taking super long times on these games, so I'm going to jump straight in and go for the pencil marks now, because otherwise I'll be faced with yet another long game if I just don't spot anything for ages and ages. So I think I should I should go with the pencil marks much faster uh, than I have been recently, because the games have been far too long. <coughs> Let's do it now then. Two and nine. This was three and four, and this was five and eight. Oh, look at that, we've got four here. <laughs> That's good. Something I totally missed before. It's a nice, easy number. Never mind. Found it now. Five just have to be in those squares there. Now, I think I've got seven in those squares there, haven't I? Uh, did I work that out seven or was I just dreaming? Oh no, maybe I was dreaming. Why did I think that that was seven? Uh, because we've got seven across here, so seven is in one of those squares. This can't be seven, so that is a pair of sevens there. So then we can get this, right? Because we've got three numbers in three squares. This is four, five, and seven. And so this has to be a six here. Six up here, six down there, and six across there will give me a six in that square. Six across here, down there, up there, means that that's a six. And now we can see that we have a one already placed as our candidate. 
that's the nice thing about placing candidates, it saves you a bit of time in searching for other stuff. And this definitely can't be a one anymore. <coughs> uh, anything more about ones? No. Alright, so let's see what goes here. So we've got four, five, and seven now, so we're looking for three, the three blocks across there, that's a three, that's a three, that's a four. Four blocking up here and four across there will give us four in that square. And that also is going to give us a pair of fours down there, which we'll put in there for the moment. Now we can get this number. We've got two nine down here, and we are looking for a five to finish that column. We've got five across here, five up there. There's a five, and there's a four. <coughs> and that will give me a pair of fours there. Now how about the five? Five down here, down here, and across there means that that's a five. Uh, the missing numbers in this column are 7 and 8, so we've got 7 across there, there's the 7, and there's the 8, and 8 blocks down here, so we are going to get 8s in those squares there somewhere, if we need them later. Uh, what's going on up here? We've got 1, we also need 3 and 7, do we have any info on that? We've got 3 blocking there, so we've got pairs there, and how about a 7? Not sure. So we'll put the 7 there. Missing numbers here are 3 and 7. Okay, so we've got a 3 across here, so this is a 3. So that's our 7, and that's our 7, seven there. And here's the 1, and that's the 3. 3 blocking down here and across there, there's a 3. 3 across there, 3 down there, and there's a 3. This is a 2 or a 9 to match that. Uh, Yes, can say. 9 blocking across here, so 9 is in one of those squares there. So this can't be a 9, that's got to be a 2. That's a 9, that's a 2, that's a 2. And this is not a 2, this is 7 or 9. Do we know which is which? No, we don't. So I'll put it in. Uh, left over here is, oh yeah, we've got 7 blocking down there. There's a 7. And this will be our 9. Last number in this column is a 2, in fact. And what's left to be done? We'll get rid of the 2 there. And the missing number here is a 9. That's going to be in one of those two squares there. Uh, we've got 9 blocking down here, though. So 9 is in one of these squares here. So that can't be a 9. That's got to be the 9, excuse me. Uh, and this can't be a 9. All right. Where are we now? Uh, two, three, and six are done. So let's just click on the other digits and see. We've got one blocking across there. There's our last. No, it's not. Yes, it is our last digit one. If I can hold down the right key. Uh, the last number to place here is a seven. Seven to the bottom. There's a seven. So this game has been a very easy game. As long as you discovered those three numbers there, uh, that's nothing been difficult after that time, is it? Really? This is an eight. There's the 8, there's a 4. At least I won't have a long game under it. So even if I had to use pencil marks, at least it won't have, I won't have such a long time uh, 8 in that square. 5 in that square. That's for the video, which has been getting out of hand, I must say. 5 in that square. Come on. Ah, what's going on? I've got the wrong key held down yet again. Four there and five there. Sorry about held, hitting the wrong, holding the wrong key down at the end and messing up what's going on with the small numbers and the big numbers. But that's done now. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I might see you in the evening for a supplementary game if I'm in the mood. Take care. Bye bye.